So they are yeah. until the price drops Doesn't a little work. bit and they become more affordable. I wonder how far do you get down the road? Three hours, and then you got to. Then you got to charge it again. Yeah. I feel sorry for truck drivers. So it must be costing them a fortune yeah. uh, to fill up trucks at the moment, and that that price has to get all those costs needed to get passed on at some point. So and you've got to make concessions elsewhere, right, to make up for it. Exactly, mm. exactly. Mm. I'm looking forward to this next interview, though. Mm. Let me tell you, it will be a bit of fun. And look, it's not that I'm bitter about you know little Collingwood bit. not making the grand final. I'm not bitter at all. It is true, right, that the AFL Grand Final was potentially potentially the most boring Grand Final ever. The worst Carl, ever. The uh, worst <laughs> ever. I'm not just saying that because we're an NRL station. No. Uh, it was an no. awful Grand Final, and it would have been better Collingwood being in it. Thank you, I agree. Uh, someone who thinks the uh, NBL Grand Final is going to be even better, and uh, it is a low bar, let's face it. Basketball <laughs> legend and part owner of the Sydney Kings, Andrew Bogut joins us. Here's Big fella. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Mate, good to see you. Uh, what did you think of the AFL um, Grand Final? We're just bagging the hell out of it this morning. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, very disappointing. Um, takes me back to a time when I was in America and I stayed up till 2am and it was, I think it was Port Adelaide and someone, maybe, I uh, can't remember who, but it was a 100 point game and Entry? it's just not fun you, you turn it off I was in the middle of a poker tournament actually so oh, I wasn't paying too much attention besides on my phone but it, it gave me a good reason well, to, didn't to switch you. off the game and uh, concentrate on my hands How'd you go? <laughs> I made the second day and then bombed out in the morning which was disappointing but uh, made a mistake early in the, on the second day and that was all she wrote, so that's the fun of those tournaments. You make one, one small mistake and you're gone. <laughs> Mate, I love following you. Uh, you, you are not a dull guy uh, in, any, in anyone's language, especially on social media. Um, let's talk basketball. Uh, it's a big season ahead, isn't it? Um, the salary cap increasing again for the NBL. Um, how do you think that's going to play its part um, in the game? Well, obviously, the more, the more money teams can spend, um, hopefully they all spend it and you get more talent. So. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to bring homegrown talent that maybe are, are making a little bit more money in Europe or, or in the, uh, the G League in, in the US. You can bring them home now to Australia in front of our, our great fans in the NBL. And I think the, the, the season um, is wide open, in my opinion. It's as open as it's ever been. Uh, there's no clear-cut favourite. Obviously, the Sydney Kings were the champions last season. But I think it's, it's, it's going to be a very, very close season. And I, I, I honestly can't pick my, my top. It's going to a top six now. I can't pick my top six that easily. I think it's going to be very, very close. And I think if you're a casual fan or a fan that's kind of got your eye on the NBL, I think it's going to be very, very exciting. You must have a, a particular team you've got your eye on, though, Andrew. Yeah, the Sydney Kings. So, you know, hopefully the value of our club continues <laughs> to rise we like it has the last turn. couple of years. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not an easy ride, big fella. Um, look, I, I noticed too, um, Germans, well, yeah. I, 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 during the week, Ariel um, Hukporti uh, has been ruled out this season due to a recent Achilles injury. How much of a blow do you think that's going to be for Melbourne? I mean, they're having a, a terrible run. Yeah, you never want to see an injury. Um, there were a few actually in, in, in Darwin in the preseason. You never want to see him in the preseason, um, especially, you know, the severity of an Achilles. Obviously, he's out for the season. Um, he was going to be penciling as their starting big man. They, they they did get pretty smart. They hired, they signed a, a guy by the name of Isaac Humphries who has a bit of NBA experience in him as a, as a backup, and I think he'll fit in nicely in that slot. So they've got some backup there, but. It's a tough one for Melbourne United. I mean, I, I won't say we feel too sorry for him, but like I said, you never want to see... He, he's a very young talent, Huck Porty, and he's got a chance to be an NBA prospect. So he's got a long, long road of recovery with the rehab with an Achilles. Everybody knows it's yeah. usually 12 months, and hopefully he can get back to full strength and, and end up in the NBA one day. What about Lauren Jackson? Does it give you hope for a comeback? <laughs> I knew someone was going to ask this question eventually. Um, what is she, for, for, 41 or 42? I mean, good on her. Um, I enjoy being able to wake up and walk to the bathroom and brush my teeth without having a few swear words under my breath every morning, Carl. So I probably won't be back um, because of that. And I enjoy spending time. I can actually go on the trampoline with the kids, yeah. which might seem like a small feat to some, but for me, uh, in the middle of a season was something I couldn't do, so I'm, I'm enjoying retirement. I do miss it. I get the itch. Um, I have, oh, funnily enough, I went to the Sydney go. Kings camp the first week of, of training camp first, and uh, participated in the first day stupidly, and then couldn't walk for the rest of the week. Oh, so no, I learned my lesson hard. <laughs> said pro you said probably. Yeah. That's so interesting. You might get a call up back to the US, big fella, huh? No, nah, I'll, I'll leave that for hopefully Aaron Baines. But no, I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, right. the, kid, the kids are in school now, they're settled, so the, the states are kind of crossed off my list. 
You're a legend, mate. I'm, I know you're catching up with Dan Andrews a little bit later in the day. I um, hope you enjoy the lunch. Uh, and we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see you soon. You wonder why he wasn't at the grand final, Carl. Why, why wasn't he at the grand final if you were so popular? It, took 100, it. 100,000 booze might have hurt the ears, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait, good, all right. <laughs> we have breaking news uh, from the Gold Coast. Uh, these are live pictures.